Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. Wrapping up the summer holiday trifecta on a very busy note. No sign that Sunday's rain sent many packing up early this holiday weekend. In fact, the storm kicked up some decent surfing. If you didn't find a parking space early, you were probably out of luck, though. Same with the spot on the sand. Beaches from Rye to Seabrook, packed. We came down for the long weekend, like we usually do, and, uh, you know, it's nice to uh, get away. We're from Montreal. On this Labor Day, one last flip for the fun of it, mixed with melancholy. Well, we are off all summer, so we've been here a lot. Yeah. We're sad. Last day. Very emotional. I, it's kind of the unofficial last day of summer. Even the Slavitt twins with dual emotions. Labor Day. What does it mean? It's Labor Day. Sad. It's sad. It's summer's over. But we still surf. It all. It's sad. The summer flying by for business as well. It got off to a rough start. So, I mean, it's been picking up, but the rain doesn't help. The feeling is that inconsistent weather may have impacted some day trippers more than overnight guests. All in all, a decent year. We've had a good season. We've noticed a little bit uh, slower at late night, uh, you know, after the 10 o'clock at night. So a lot of more families on the beach this year going to bed early. <laughs> but Labor Day doesn't have to mean it's over. Maybe not. We, we like our lobster, so uh, we come down and have a little lobster weekends. Most of the seasonal businesses will still be open for a while, banking on an Indian summer. At Hampton Beach, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.